Brattle Street from right to left in this overhead view is near Harvard Square in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. Brattle Street is one way right to left, east to west in this aerial view. At the one-way to one-way T intersection at Brattle Square, there is no traffic signal. Drivers must yield to pedestrians in crosswalks. This view shows Brattle Street as it existed up through 2017, with two travel lanes and parallel parking on both sides. In 2017, the City of Cambridge installed a two-way bikeway on the north side of Brattle Street. Let's ride on that bikeway and see how it works out. We are going west to east opposite the one-way motor traffic. The bikeway and its buffer from parked cars have left only a single narrow travel lane. The door of a parked car opening on either side will block traffic in that lane. There have been complaints about stalled and stopped traffic, but on the other hand also claims that this bikeway makes bicycling safer. Let's back up one block to Church Street, ride through again and see how those claims hold up. Motorists expect to yield to pedestrians coming from the right but a bicyclist here is going much faster and could be hidden behind a crowd of pedestrians. Looking backwards, we see that the traffic signs face away from eastbound bicyclists. Traffic is light now, but when it is heavy, motorists must yield in two or three steps, blocking other motorists, bicyclists, and pedestrians. The green paint is intended to warn of these confusing and unexpected conflicts. Here at night, bicyclists and motorists would blind each other with their headlights. Also note the position of the car. There's a sunken utility access cover which could steer the bicycle out from under a rider. There is a stop sign, but the green paint again warns that the normal traffic rules have been broken here. That car would cross our path. The intersection was designed only for traffic coming toward us, and we are entering it on the wrong side of the street. First, we must yield to pedestrians in the crosswalk. Okay so far, but other than to go up on the sidewalk on the left and walk, the only legal exit is to the right. A protruding curb is in the way, and a subway headhouse blocks the view of right-turning traffic until we are already in its path. Here's the view from where the car came from, past the subway headhouse. Even when only turning right into the bike lane, we must cross Brattle Street because we are starting from the wrong side. We must yield to right-turning traffic that we can't see past the headhouse until very late. When entering the travel lane to avoid a right hook collision if continuing straight at the next intersection, we must also yield to through traffic. And when crossing onto Mount Auburn Street, we must additionally yield to traffic in the second lane, including vehicles which may be hidden by others in the first lane. None of these movements can be safe without a traffic signal. I'm just fortunate that traffic was very light and I could continue across the trendy, deteriorating brick crosswalk onto Mount Auburn Street without mishap, safely passing the Coca-Cola truck which was stuck and going nowhere, and waiting in line to turn left into Harvard Square. What was the reasoning behind the Brattle Street bikeway? I don't know yet, I haven't asked, but I do know how such decisions usually come about. Bicyclists were riding opposite traffic on one-way Brattle Street and on the sidewalks, rather than to take any of several routes which would have taken a couple minutes longer. The city decided to legitimize the out-of-direction travel with a separated bikeway, and there being a separated bikeway to make it two-way. This resulted in the constraints on motor traffic described earlier and the safety issues. A one-way opposite direction bikeway on the south side would allow the street to operate as a normal two-way street for bicyclists, one way for motorists. But the pre-existing curb would get in the way, 
and there would still have to be a traffic light. Federal regulations say that a contraflow bikeway should be on the right side of the street and it must be separated by a double yellow line or median, not a parking lane. On these and other counts, the Brattle Street Bikeway fails to conform. <laughs>